you know? I'm a little out of the game. Are most people just dating because they're looking for housing now? <laughs> is that, <laughs> I mean, is that no. basically what's going I, I'm on? I'm not a bad idea. Yeah. You know? So it was just like, I didn't just see his house and was like, oh, I want to move in. It was like, I already had my own place and he asked me, hey, do you want to move in? And so that's what I Period. did. So we started our relationship off like that. Was that, was that the case no. for you? You moved in for early on for financial reasons? No. There, I've definitely seen these memes online of people like trying to get linked up in a relationship to save money on rent. Have you that seen those? I've seen that. I hope he's not watching. No, I that's did not him. pay no bills. But, too, so. That doesn't yeah. give me the ick as like, you know what I mean? Because he, you had your own place and then he yeah. asked you to move in with him. Mm -hmm. That's like cool. Yeah. Well, you know. Also, let's just. But the other way around, it was, it's yeah, kind of weird. weird. No, you know no, what I mean? Yeah, that'd be really weird. Let's <laughs> define what the ick is. What is the ick? What is ick? How do you define the the ick? Is there a difference between ick and the ick? Mm. What is the? I don't know. The ick is when is that you feel gross about something, <laughs> right, and then there's just no going back. Your opinion on, on that person or whatever it is can't be changed because you were just so grossed out mm -hmm. or weirded out by it. Yeah. I know like, if you don't clean yeah. your uh, aquarium water enough, you, uh, you get ick. You, you get, get ick in the but you get the ick, or do you get ick? The fish get the egg. They get the they egg. Gotta, <laughs> the egg. The Dave, egg. I'm not sure you're quite yeah, like, on. Like are, if are you're talking about something else? Yeah. Right. And I think yeah. what makes it the egg also yeah, yeah. is it's just a switch randomly. Right. Like you feel fine and then, <laughs> uh, and then there's mm -hmm. no going back. Have you felt the ick before? I think yeah. every girl has. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think so too. I think it's when your brain <laughs> switches from thinking like this is a potential mate to... No, I feel like I feel like it yeah. might be the equivalent because I don't know because I'm not a dude, but it could be the equivalent to post nut clarity, maybe. Mm. Uh, oh goodness. I'm but not sure about that. But there is going back because you could get horny again. So never mind, maybe. But it's just kind of like ew. Yeah. There's postcoital rage where a man gets angry after an orgasm, like in. That's awful. Awesome. Yeah. 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 They and they get re and, and I you, have to ask you. Know that from experience? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've had that experience, yeah. Have you, Dave, have Dave, you? No. Have you, you I've just never. shut it down. That's <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. There's this, wow. Dave Chappelle yeah. has a joke. I think it's related to Louis C.K. But a man who has just ejaculated is the least threatening motherfucker there is. That's what I thought. Fair enough. Yeah. Unless you don't yeah. have trauma. as much testosterone. Yeah. There's, there's I, tra trauma. Yeah. Uh, Unless you have trauma. trauma, like sexual trauma. So yeah. You, 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 you climax right. and then... You so this happens you a lot at the Bunny Ranch. A rat. Um, <laughs> not this is a lot. This, this happens in the regular world. Is this in a workplace hazard? Is this how hazard? that place burned down? Um, yes. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Cheeks just a sec. $99. Yeah, thank you, Cheeks. Did the guy that move in with that female not only have bad financial problems, <laughs> but was he also in 300 credit score with the IRS <laughs> coming after him? No way in my desperate broke days would I move in with such a creature. You don't even have a credit card. <laughs> such a creature. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so how, how, how long have you guys been together? Three months. Three months? He's, he's just now starting to pay a little bit of rent? Yeah. Or? You should pay all the bills. A yeah. month in? But I pay for food. I pay for, like, I drive him. Do you like that arrangement? We're going to get better, hopefully. It's worth <laughs> it. Uh, you know, look, it's Oh, when? I just had a conversation with him yesterday about it, but we're going to just see what happens. But, I mean, you really like him, right? Yeah. You like him, yeah. and you feel as though it's... It's worth it because yeah. you really like the guy. Yeah. I want to bring a out week the is a bit early yeah. though. Yeah. I do feel like moving in after just no, a week. It was like we were both in a situation where like we kind of needed to move oh, okay. in. Like same with her. Like we were all in a situation like we needed to just like move. So it kind of okay. like it's perfect. Yeah, it's like college. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, but you said you moved like four or five times in the past three times. Three times in the past three months. Yeah. What's What's going on? It just didn't work out with the roommates, and then yeah. Like you didn't like them, or <laughs> yeah. Well, the first they ones, from the hell. first ones, we were too loud, and then they said we were gonna get evicted if we didn't move out. <gasps> so we moved, and then the next ones, they were too messy, and like we just didn't really get along that well. And I had my boyfriend at my house all the time, uh, and they didn't really like that. Yeah. And then this is the third house. Okay. Good times. What's Good times. the appropriate time that people usually wait before they move in with someone, though? Hmm. Marriage. Yeah, I would say, I, agree, I think marriage. most people probably do it in the first six months, no? When no. you know it's till death well. do you part, because now you don't have to deal with moving out and 
You're just putting yourself in a vulnerable situation yeah. with someone that you're not sure if you're spending your life with. That just doesn't seem like, like a smart idea. If you yeah. buy a practice. place together, I think it would yeah. be vulnerable. But if you're just renting and well, you move I think in together, that there's like fine. just yeah. this level of familiarity that mm-hmm. I don't want to have with my boyfriend before we're married. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I want there to yeah. be at least some mystery there. If you're, well, no. I want him to see me at my mm-hmm. best. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. if you look stage. at statistics and that's why you wouldn't move too, in, like until you're married. It's one of the reasons. Yeah, if you, look I feel at like st- if you want to know if your relationship is <laughs> going to be like sure resilient, I feel like you probably should move in together so you can really see if you guys are compatible, like cohabitating yeah. in the same space. I believe that you can get to know someone well enough without moving in together. I agree. My and in dad. fact, there are extra pressures that are introduced once you move in together that are not helpful to discerning a lifelong commitment with someone. That's what I was going to say about Can that. Can I add something? Okay. okay. If you look at statistics too, your relationship or your marriage is likely going to last longer if you wait it out and you don't move true. in That's together. True. So if you care about this guy or if you're a guy and you care about the girl and you want the relationship to last, it's not a bad idea to look at the statistics and follow I've, them. I've seen those stats, but I know that there's going to be selection bias because the people who are more likely to abstain from living together before they get married are also usually religious. And most religious people are also going to be resistant to like separating or getting divorced. So that kind of skews that statistic. I think most people, you know, society is becoming like increasingly like that. secular and But atheist. do you think that... that like defines the statistic is just religious people. No, it's just a bias so, to keep in mind. Yeah, but I don't think it makes a big enough difference. Grid One Hold Motorsports on donated one hundred dollars. Thank you, man. Appreciate For it. For men moving in with a woman too early is a risk. A year lease with a soul sucker two thousand as a roommate can destroy your life. Not something to do right out of the gate. Honestly, if her toothbrush appears in the first month, bail. Hmm. Thank you, Grid One Motorsports. Much appreciated. I think also um, if you need to end a relationship, you're less likely to when you have this financial pressure of moving out. Right. So if there is yeah. a good reason to end a relationship, you're going to feel like, oh, but then I'll have to pay my own rent. I can't mm. split rent anymore. All these different things. So it can keep I agree, you in an unhealthy uh, situation. You also Those financial pressures are going to exist even in marriage, though. Like, people who would probably be better off separating and not being married any longer are probably more likely to remain in a relationship that's not satisfying for them just for financial reasons, which is, to me, not the, the best well, or, like, I mean, I don't believe that a marital marriage. relationship exists to satisfy each individual and make you feel... It's not about you, it's what she's saying. It's about the other person. My doctor told I me I, I shouldn't mean. ever live alone, like with my conditions. Uh-huh. So they, they said uh-huh. you should never live alone. And I'm just like, oh, okay. Uh. <laughs> also, <laughs> when you move in with them early, it's hard to know if you're like moving in with the person or with how the person's making you feel. Mm-hmm. And the way that person is making you feel is likely going to change mm-hmm. so it's just a better idea to wait it out get to know the person and really know who you're moving in with mm-hmm. when you say it's going to change do you mean like in a negative direction or positive it's possible it's possible that the way that you feel about the person is going to change in a negative direction and now you're not going to feel <clears throat> very good in your own home and you want to get you're going to want to get out it happens the opposite too. could happen too i think it's it just could but that's why you wait it out and figure out to see. But that, re- I don't think that reason alone would be a reason to not move in together or like before marriage or I guess just quickly because you could always discover something about your partner that you're just like either right, gives you the ick or makes you not like them anymore. It's and one of many change. reasons why you shouldn't move in with them early. Ever. Like I until mean, you get married? It's, there's circumstances where I guess, <clears throat> but um, it's, if you look at the statistics, you shouldn't move in and the exception doesn't really make the rule. I mean, I personally, just what, not I, a good idea. what I practice and what I believe is abstinence until marriage. So mm-hmm. for anyone who has that value uh, and aspires toward that, mm-hmm. living together is not a good idea. Probably just not, pragmatically, no. it's a bad idea. So that's another reason why I don't live with my boyfriend. Seven deadly simps donated $100. Yeah, thank you, man. Hey, Erin. He is hoping you don't get kicked off again. Oh. Speaking of which, are you still a virgin? Have you done the deed yet? Shacked, boned, banged, screwed, nailed, scored, smashed. 
ordered the beef bun. Seven hundred and seventy-seven decillion seven hundred and seventy-seven. All right, thank you, Sid. Do you want to? Seven seven hundred. Do you want to answer the question there? If I was still a virgin, I never said I was old anyway. I would say I didn't say I was a virgin. I did. Well, that. Seven hundred and seventy-seven quadrillion. That's kind of what seven hundred and seventy-seven trillion. People were kind of assuming. Seven hundred and seventy-seven billion seven hundred and seventy-seven million seven hundred and seventy-seven thousand seven hundred and seventy-seven. Do you want to answer? Seven hundred and seventy-seven. Do you want to answer them? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you think people assumed from your community that I was a virgin? I got way. I saw way more speculation that like, ah, oh, she's probably had a train ran through her. That's why she doesn't want to fucking answer. Which college did you go to? Uh, I went to UTRGV. Do they have like a D1 basketball team? Or? No. Oh, okay, football team or D, no. is that D3 or? Oh, I I don't have no clue. Like, oh, okay. we're, it's part of the UT Austin network or whatever. I know people care about like the Longhorns or whatever, but UTRGV sure. is just like a. Uh, Border okay. University. It's part of that system, though. Okay. Not yeah. known for sports, no. No uh, Greek. I don't think we have Greek life either. So. Yeah. Just bringing it back to the whole uh, cohabitation thing, I, and to Grid One Motorsports, his uh, his TTS. I do think it's certainly a risk to move in way way too early because you don't know the person well enough yet, and uh, you've basically. I'm almost looking at it from a legal liability point of view where you basically have established a tenancy, and if you don't like this person, you would, you may have to go through the process of actually evicting this person who... <laughs> we're not on the lease. Restraining order? All even yeah, no. we're not on the Squatters lease. Squatters' rights, if they <laughs> no, stay there like, like 30 like, days... Not not guys. Guys. Well, you, to... you guys aren't on the lease no. where? At our house. Yeah, but you guys are le legally, whether you have a written lease or not, they're a tenant. You're, yeah. you're no, a tenant. I mean, yes. I mean, if they've had a piece of mail delivered to your residence in their name or they've been there for like 30 days, I think that establishes tenancy. And if yeah. you wanted them to leave, you would have to go to like a court to have them evicted formally. No, they no, they're on the lease. But anything, it's because we're not allowed. We're not technically. We're not allowed. Well, it doesn't matter. You're it, technically, in the eyes of the law, you're technically yeah, tenants. Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is if, if you like move in your girlfriend or you move in with her, um, I think... From, from the male perspective, if you have some girl who you just met moved into your house and you haven't properly vetted her and it doesn't work out romantically, she technically could stay there and you would have to evict her and that could take months <laughs> to get her out. Meanwhile, she's you don't know what the situation could be. So What if it's like, because what you're talking about I think is really volatile, where if it's like you sure. just happen into it because they didn't leave, you know, like, oh, they just stayed, and then after 30 days or whatever, then that's the situation. But what if, like, a couple after, like, two months is, like, we want to move out of our own places and move in together, sign a lease, and do it properly? Would you say that's as volatile? Two months is certainly a longer screening process than one week. Mm -hmm. uh, I still think it... I would wait much longer than that, though. So. Like,